It's a beautiful day, and I want to specially welcome you to my session, this session especially. My name is Brahim Mustafa, and today we are going to talk about the part four of the five puzzle niches, best five puzzle niches. And this is a series of niches just to help you expand your KDP publishing. Yes, you can publish as many as you want, but then if you are not publishing strategically, you may not make any sale. For example, I have like uh, books in coloring niches, and I used to publish a lot on like coloring niches because I used to think that publishing on coloring niches will make me more money and more sales. But most of the books I published, just one or two, have been bought, making sales. So the strategy now is to publish in different niches. Niches that are not, no, I will not say evergreen, but just expand your business. It's just about expansion. If you have books in the, in the notebook session, you need to have in planners, journals, like you need to spread your wings. So today, let's go straight and talk about the five uh, best five niches in terms of the bus puzzles or niche. So. If you are new to KDP publishing here, we talk about non-fiction, uh, fiction, but today's session, we are focusing on low and no content publishing, whereby you can publish things like journals, planners, notebooks, and you still make traction. Let's go to number one, the first niche of the puzzle niches. We have nonogram puzzle book. Nonogram, nonogram puzzle book. So this is like a type of niches that you can also look at in terms of in the puzzle niche. And it's called nanogram puzzle book, upper immediate hard nanogram. I don't think I can do this. So let's go inside and see what they have. And um, you can also just learn into it. Sometimes you learn into it and there are different ways I learn into them. I can learn how to do nanogram on YouTube, learn how to do it and then I i'll create interiors to be able to help me do that so you can see how it is i've never seen this type but say uh, maybe it's quite easy for the pros but this is it and uh, it's also making sales because everybody has the type of puzzles they need so if you are doing one type of puzzles you are only serving a fraction a small fraction of those people so you need to expand and do more in terms of uh, reaching out to different puzzle types if you actually want to do puzzles and you make money so okay it's the same type you can see time to wake up and uh puzzle on the way to hospital hey this one they has to take god's intervention for me to even win one but this is it other people are making it so the strategy is also learning to it and also putting some content to target that so niche number two in the puzzle list, niche today is still in the numbers game. And you can also go through. It's number fill in puzzle book for adults. Number fill in puzzle book for adults. So you can see it, fill in puzzle. And I always like the ratings. If I see one or two or three ratings, simply means someone is buying in that category. So number filling, let's see how it is. Sometimes you buy it to learn it. Also go on to, just go on to different platforms like Pinterest and you get this type of puzzles to learn. You can see how it is, number filling. How do we fill in the numbers? Hey, this one too is hard to start with six. Uh, six, six and stuff. Uh, so move on to the next chapter. So I think if if it is something that you can do, just put in content and also try to learn into it because it's a business. If you cannot learn into it, maybe you can even get people to do them the interiors for you. Or you can search for a uh, creative fabrica and search inside to see whether you see interiors like this where you can easily also publish. 
and that's how I do my things. So let's go to the third niche of today. And uh, the third niche falls in the sports niche, I guess. I don't know what it is. Sports web search. Because you are expanding your niche, you need to expand to reach out to like different people of di their different interests. If someone loves sports, and you can do niches in that. So be it. Sports web search for adults. World search, trivia, and quiz. So let's look at this. Let's look at this. Sports web search for adults. So it just this, this one is like simple to do because you are just going to pick it, pick up sports words, physical contestants, and you do the normal type of uh, normal type of word search that we know. But you use the words like in the sports category. So trainer, let me see if I can find trainer. Can someone help me find trainer? If you are home, also find trainer for me. And uh, let's play this game. Trainer, trainer, trainer. Then this, this is like kind of like mix. Trainer, trainer. Why is the trainer? Right, but trainer. Maybe we'll, we'll find another day and come and look for those ways. But you can see. So they, they put their motorsports. They put them ball sports, mind sports, like all the stuff. So you can equally do, you can see how nice it is. Assuming we were to play that game, I uh, will have lost and you will have won. So we'll buy another one. And we'll finish this one, we'll buy another one. So once you also have books in this category and they finish this, they will not buy this same book. They are going to buy a different book to be able to do. So, and that's the importance of like puzzle books. Unlike the other books that they would just buy one, and that's it. Like for example, if they are buying a 2022 planner, they will just buy one planner. And uh, if they are buying 10 pieces, 10 people, that's it. But if it is puzzle books, they will keep on buying. After this, they will buy another one, buy three, buy four different books, and yours might, might fall in there. And that's why these books make a lot of sales. That's why books like this make a lot of sales. So. Also look at it, if it's something that is good for you, you do your research as well, and uh, put in content, put in content. Some of you too, let's go to the number fourth one before I tell you something. Spot the differences. So this is like, uh, kind of like spot the differences type of puzzle, and you will crack your brains to do this. You will crack your brains to do this, spot the differences. And this person has like volume, this is volume 11. So what, okay. So you can see it's a nice game. Spot 10 differences. Oh, how can we spot these differences? I can start spotting differences. Let me see. Okay, here, this, this one is one. Here it is two. You have two here. And uh, the second difference is that the top here is different from here. You can see. And uh, where, where? But it's a nice game. Pretty nice game. Okay, here, this one is not here. And this one is not also here. Wow, I've won, I've won, I've won. Other differences. So this is also another type of puzzle that like is just like pictures, and uh, you are good to go. So you can see how easy it is for you to be able to like let people spot the differences. And we equally have like YouTube videos that are doing spot the differences and all things like that. But then it's also another good technique to put in content and to reach out to more people. So the last one in this in the part four. Is Sudoku Puzzles Master. That's a master itself. So Sudoku Puzzles Variation Book. So it's Puzzle Master. And uh, it's like this. And uh, you get into it, learn into it. And you put in more and more. 
So that's it. So these are all like niches that you can look at to expand your business. And my aim is to give you more niches and more niches as best as possible. And your aim is, your, your, your work is to do your own researches, see how you can do the content in terms of interior and put in the covers. Make it simple. Don't go and do complicated things. You alone, you want to do complicated things and no one is buying your books. But those people who are doing simple books like this cover type of covers, simple, just put it up there, do Canva. They are making sales. So go out there, create opportunities, learn to use Amazon to do your keyword researches like this expansion. AMD Suggestion Expander is going to expand a lot of things for you. And uh, you put in the content like it has expanded for me. You can use this to do keywords. You can use this to do a lot. And now uh, you can create opportunities for yourself. Thank you very much. And uh, let's meet in the part five where I'll be sharing you more technical niches on the puzzle niche. Once I'm done, you can also send me a message to let me know your best niche in this category. Let me know your best niche in this category. And also, if you want me to do uh, uh, niches for you, let me know so that I'll start doing the researches, compiling the rich niches, and looking at my, my, my own books which are selling or those that are not selling, and I'll advise you on that. Thank you very much. I believe in you.